Now it is time for our guy, Zach Collins. We already talked uh, a, a lot about this, obviously, Ethan, in the post game. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll just dish it to you for overall season thoughts on Zach. Statistically, he's about where he was last year. Um, he's actually slightly better, I guess. But the biggest drawback for Zach this season has been efficiency, especially from three-point land. He's down 10 whole percentage of points. He went from 37 last year to 20, 28 now. Um, and that, that's been his biggest difficulty. I think that's where his loss of confidence really stems from because once he lost that, um, he stopped being as aggressive down low. Um, he stopped being aggressive on rebounding. And we've really seen a dip as of late, pretty much from December on, I would say. He's been struggling. Um, obviously that's been along with a role change. He started as the starting center next to Wemby. Now he's coming off the bench, also had an injury. So it it hasn't been a perfect year as far as circumstances for Zach Collins. Uh, but we already talked about it at length. It's been difficult nonetheless and underwhelming. You know, as I'm looking at the game log and obviously that doesn't mean everything, Ethan, but it's, it's really eerily similar to Malachi. Um, you know, at the end of December, you kind of see it start. Um, but really, he had a nice stretch of games there for mm-hmm. a while, at least scoring wise, and, and was efficient for the most part, you know, other than a couple here and there. But once again, well, actually, no, I was wrong. That's Nover. My bad. Here's December. But you still see, you know, for the most part, not anything too terrible. But then January was rough. You just kind of see the drop off where it's not necessarily to the same at Malachi's level. Um, but you can you can start to see it. And there's some injuries in here as well. That's why the beginning of January he's not playing. That's when Barlow was in. But since basically since the Barlow injury, you know, you were hoping to kind of see what you're seeing down here a little bit more, and we haven't been seeing it as much. And that's why this conversation has any legitimacy and pop benched him tonight for Barlow, basically. Yep. Tough. Poor Zach. I know. I wish I had more to say, but we, we kind of already covered it Mm -hmm. um, earlier and yeah, just to, just to sum up some things defensively is really the thing that gets me when, when, cause the, unfortunately the defensive deficiencies are kind of always there to an extent, you know, at the end of last year, as we've talked about on this channel, a bunch of times, Ethan, it felt like his interior defense got better. It kind of feels like a reversion this season. Um, and then on top of that, he just hasn't really been hitting shots. And and when you take away the threes, like you said, like a 10 percentage drop off, like that's one of the things that was like key to his game, mm-hmm. you know, um, and one of the things that was super appealing. So when you take that away and the overall shooting efficiency is also dipped a little bit and then you're kind of reverting a little bit on defense, too. It's just that it's a combination of a lot of unfortunate negatives mm-hmm. that. Once again, not to repeat myself, but that's that's why Barlow played the rest of the game today. If that context wasn't there, you know, we're leaving him in. Nothing to add, Your Honor. 